how are you? How are you? This is your 10 minute plugin from MBN. And I'm your host yet again, Abazida Joyce Murigi, all the way from Nairobi, Kenya, in East Africa. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you are listening from, or tuning in from, or watching us from, it could be a morning, it might be an afternoon, it might be an evening. Whatever time it is, it is a time of the Lord. He has been good to us. He is the one who has created time or times and seasons. And we find ourselves in times and seasons. So whatever season you're in, whether it's a morning season, whether it's an afternoon season, or whether it's an evening season, receive greetings from MBN. Today, I am your host, Abazida Joyce Murigi. We are having a busy day today. It's a busy day um, in MBN because we have a discussion or an interview that is about to come live. And so I just decided to pass by very, very, very briefly to bring you the 10 minute plugin. If you're here, if you're in the house, let me know where you're watching us from so that I can give you a shout. It's either hola, bonjour, habarigani. <laughs> that is Swahili, the last one. That's how we say uh, hi in Kiswahili. So habarigani. Hello, 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 hello. So today I came in to, uh, to talk about the joy of the Lord because it is this joy that keeps us going as um, kingdom ambassadors, as brethren, as Christians. We are able to smile at the storms. We are able to smile, to, you know, to laugh. Even when things are, are, are going to the south, when things are dark, when we are in dark seasons, this joy of the Lord keeps us going. Many people may not understand the joy that a kingdom brother, a kingdom sister may be experiencing. And one may even ask you, you know, why are you able to smile when you're going through a dark season? Why are you able to smile? How are you able to smile at the storms? And the answer is very simple because you have the joy of the Lord. Hello, hello, hola, 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 hola. <laughs> uh, beautiful Queen um, Veronique, all the way from uh, Georgia, Savannah, Georgia. How are you? Bonjour. How are you? How is the US? I know you're waiting, beautiful um, Queen, to come in live with, um, you know, a group of pastors kingdom leaders to talk about church. So I came before you to prepare the way for you and I'm speaking on the joy of the Lord. Yes, you know, having that joy where people will even come to console you, you're going through a weeping season and people come to console you, then you, in that, in, you know, um, when they come, you're the one who actually uh, takes the consoling position the comforting position, and people wonder, how are you able to do this? You're able to do this because you have indescribable joy, joy that people cannot, nah, cannot understand because this joy comes from the Lord. And when I think about what joy is, even when I look at the, uh, at the dictionary, the dictionary says that joy is a feeling of great pleasure and happiness. And thank you, beautiful Queen um, Veronique, for this um, uh, title of this topic today. I was feeling a bit lost, 
but you came through my sister. Thank you so much. So, and then the, in the Psalm, and there's, there are very many uh, verses in the Bible that talk about joy. And by the way, this is the joy that even that, that is making me smile, <laughs> that make, is making me glow. It is the joy that fills my heart because I have the salvation of God. God has given me salvation and in salvation comes uh, joy. So there are very many verses in the Bible that speak about joy, but I'll just pick a, a, a few. So in Psalm 30 and verse 5, we are told that weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Hallelujah. Why is weeping connected to the night? Because night is dark. So weeping comes in a season that is filled with darkness. It comes in a dark season. I just want to see who else has joined us. Thank you. Thank you for joining. So that is why weeping is connected with uh, the night. But we are told that joy comes in the morning. Why does joy, why is joy connected with morning? Because morning gives us hope. Morning gives us new beginnings. Morning gives us freshness. And so this joy gives us just that. It gives us hope. It gives us freshness. It gives us new beginnings when you have the joy of the Lord. And that is why we are told that weeping may endure for a night, but the joy comes in the morning. So weeping will you come before the joy. But you know what? What this verse says is that the last thing will be, the, will be joy. So if the last thing is joy, then we have to stay in that joy of the Lord because it gives us new life, a beginning, you know, of something new. It gives us a new song. It turns our mourning into dancing because this joy is so real. It is indescribable, I said. So like I said, weeping, you know, is connected with suffering, it's connected with darkness and mourning comes with hope, new beginning, mercy and uh, freshness. Then Nehemiah uh, chapter 8 and verse 10 says that the joy of the Lord is my strength. Can you imagine? Having joy of the Lord is still connected to strength. And what is strength? This is the inner strength that comes from a transformation. It comes from a renewed mind. You know, it, it comes, it is from within. It is not on the surface. The joy that comes from within, you know, the joy that overflows, the joy that comes when you have been transformed and you have gone through a renewing of the mind, the joy that comes when you know that the past has gone and you have embraced your new you. And this is a joy that comes with salvation. It is a joy that, you know, overflows. It is unspeakable. The world may not understand it. Neither can, they, can the world give you this joy because the, this joy only comes from one who is our source. And they can, they, the world cannot also not steal it from you. This joy keeps you going. That is why it becomes your inner strength. It helps you think straight. It helps you see things in different ways, you know, from many other people. When things, when things are going bad, it makes you see that, you know, things are going to be okay. It's the kind of joy that gives you this hope. And, you know, um, it's a kind of a joy that also makes you trust in the Lord. The strength that we are talking about is endurance. This joy gives you endurance. You can endure anything. This joy gives you freedom. You know, and then I, I, I say that this joy comes from an, a transformation, you know, like a transformation uh, or a transformed mind. And it comes from inside 
of someone who has actually gone transformation. I, did, I think I said that. Then in Psalm 35 and verse 9, we are also told that, and my soul shall be joyful in the Lord. It shall rejoice in his salvation. That my soul shall be joyful in the Lord and it shall rejoice in his salvation. So this joy helps us or makes us rejoice in God's salvation. It is the joy that, you know, just, it just comes from him who gives us so much and who gives us the salvation. So the joy of the Lord is connected to salvation. And I have said that the joy of the Lord gives us strength. It gives us hope, it gives us a new beginning, it gives us freshness, it gives us, um, you know, um, even mercy from the Lord. And I also wanted to finish, you know, asking ourselves, why is it important to be joyful or to be glad? But let me also remind you that this is a choice that one has to make. And why should we be grateful? Or rather, why, sorry, why should we be joyful? We should be joyful because being joyful makes you enjoy a healthy environment. It cultivates, helps you cultivate healthy relationships because people will gravitate around you. People will want to come to you and ask you, how come you are always very happy? How come you have always, you are always, you know, so joyful? So they will want to know what secret you're holding. Then the joy of the Lord, this that comes from inside of you, keeps the devil away because the devil thrives in, I mean, in seasons of darkness because he wants to torment you. He wants to push you down. So he is very happy when you are going through a moment of darkness. And that is when the devil wants to come and really pin you down. So when you have the joy of the Lord, the devil has no room to come to torment you, to come and play around with your mind because this joy of the Lord gives you the presence of mind. And the joy of the Lord invites the presence of God in your life. The joy of the Lord keeps you going. Remember, we have been told it is, it gives us strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. So it keeps me going, even when the road is so tough, even when the road has so many potholes. I jump the potholes and I keep going because of the Lord, of the joy of the Lord. This joy of the Lord gives me fulfillment. It gives me fulfillment with everything, with my purpose and in the Lord. This joy uh, makes me enjoy life because it creates positive vibes all around me. It creates positive energies. So I will, you know, whenever, whenever I will go, I will just emit positive, positive energy because of what? Because of the joy of the Lord that is inside of me. It helps me find favor with God and people. And I, like I said, people will be attracted to you. They will want to know what keeps you going each and every time. Hola, Victoria, Queen Victoria. Hola, our, our producer. How are you? How is Spain? It's so good to have you in the house. Uh, beautiful Queen Victoria. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. This joy of the Lord uh, helps us forgive easily. Because, you know, you, will, you, you don't want anything negative around you. And the other day, uh, King Georges told us about forgiveness. You know, when you forgive, you enjoy life and you, joy, you enjoy life to the fullest. So this joy of the Lord helps you forgive easily because you, don't, you cannot entertain anything that is negative. It gives you a fresh start each and every morning. Just like the masses of the Lord are new each morning. This joy gives you a fresh start in uh, each and every morning. This joy of the Lord keeps you or gives you a grateful heart. So every other time you will appreciate the little and the big things that are happening around you or in your life. And you will remember that it is the Lord's doing and not anybody's doing. So you will remember to always give thanks to the Lord each and every time. Whether things are going to the south or going to the north 
whether things are working for you or not working for you. This joy of the Lord will actually make you so grateful each and every time. You will even find yourself telling people, thank you, you know, thank you, thank you. And everybody will want to, to, to even um, experience you because you have something that is unique and this is the joy of the Lord. And where there is joy, there is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, like, just like the devil thrives in a, a negative environment, the Holy Spirit thrives in an environment that is positive, an environment that is full of joy, the joy of the Lord. The, uh, uh, and then um, I will want to end with this, that this joy of the Lord makes us uh, get a new song each and every day. It helps us sing each and every day this song of rejoicing in the Lord, you know, being glad in the Lord. Even when you're facing the storms, you will always say that you are going to rejoice in the Lord because he has made you glad. He has put a joyful song in your heart, and this is going to be your song each and every day. The joy of the Lord helps you start your morning with this song. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. You know, every time you will want to be grateful, every time you will want to give thanks to the Lord, every time you will want to praise the Lord. And I will say that this is the day. You know, we say that and uh, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. So every time that you wake up, you will, because of the joy of the Lord, you will start saying that, yes, this is the day that the Lord has made. Why? Because we have not made this day. It is a new day with new visions, with new hopes, with new dreams, all put and set in front of you. And I will rejoice for he has made me glad. May this be your song, brother. May this be your song, sister. Let us have the joy of salvation that keeps us going, that keeps us enjoying this life, that comes with salvation. Let's surrender ourselves and our lives so that we may receive that salvation that will give us this joy that no human being can understand and the world cannot understand. Bye-bye. I will see you at the top. Remember, in about 30 minutes, we are coming back with a hot discussion. You cannot afford to miss this. Let us um, just take a small break. Maybe fill your cups with a uh, coffee, with water, with a drink, and let us wait eagerly for what the Lord has for us in store. So until the next uh, episode of 10 Minutes of Plugin from MBN, this has been your host, Abazida Joyce Murigi, all the way from Nairobi, Kenya. And I leave you with blessings, but see you very soon in a few minutes. Thank you and God bless you.